Hello everyone. After a couple month hiatus, I'm back to bring you a time-lapse drawing of 1988's sci-fi film, They Live. As always, I'm starting off with a loose-handed rough sketch to block in the composition. My intention for this piece is to have the main character, played by the late Roddy Piper, as the primary focus, also being the only one in color, with an imposing and alienating reality around him depicted strictly in grayscale. Directed by John Carpenter, who is also responsible for many of my other favorite horror films like The Thing and Christine, They Live is about a lone drifter coming to LA in search of work. Things of course go awry when he stumbles across a pair of sunglasses that allow the wearer to see past the hypnosis-induced smokescreen and see the subliminal messaging keeping the majority of humanity in an easily managed state of mind, as well as the ghoulish imposters tending to their proverbial livestock. Moving on to the inking, I use Copic multi-liners of varying sizes, starting with a smaller 0.5mm nib to trace over the pencil work, allowing me to erase the pencil underneath when the ink is dry to leave behind the lines I wish to keep, gradually increasing the nib size as I go along to bulk up the silhouettes and areas of more intense shading. As for the background buildings, I instead use a light grey Stettler 0.3 fine liner to keep their outlines from being too intrusive and let them blend in the background more effectively. Not only does this prevent them from taking too much focus away from Roddy in the foreground, but also this makes the subliminal messages posted all over them to be more intrusive by contrast. When you're inking over lines, it's important to be patient and take your time. It's really easy to become impatient and try to hasten up the process, but this can easily lead to mistakes that cannot be easily undone, and it will take a lot of time to try and cover up. It helps to listen to calm music while you're inking, to keep yourself in a patient and easy mindset. If you do find yourself beginning to try and rush through it, take a break, play a game and get those impatient impulses out of your system, and after an hour or so, come back to it. And more often than not, you'll find that you're less liable to start rushing. For coloring, when you're using Copic markers, you want to use a fine, smooth paper that doesn't immediately drink up all of your marker's ink, so that you can blend the colors more smoothly. For this, I recommend Express It Blending Card, since it meets the aforementioned criteria and is also bleed resistant, so you don't stain any surfaces you're drawing on. Trying to get a crisp, geometric plaid pattern for Roddy's shirt, I use the dreaded chisel tip of the markers for less organic lines. In hindsight, I probably should have started with a light layer of blue that I blend shading into, then layer darker lines on top for the plaid patterns with a chisel tip. This would have saved me some significant headaches down the road. I didn't record too much for coloring the backdrop. Since being mostly grayscale, I doubt it would have been very insightful to watch. Plus, my markers kept drying up, so I constantly had to pause to refill them, which is always a thrilling experience with extra saucy sarcasm drivel on top. Finishing up with coloring and shading the ghouls, again using strictly cool shades of gray. I chose the cool grays instead of the neutrals, since I hired a larger selection of them, and warm grays I thought wouldn't have fit the tone I was aiming for. Plus, I wanted to give my warm grays a break after the beating I gave them with my dusk drawing. Finally, I bulked up the silhouettes and the foreground aspects I wanted to draw attention to, using a 0.5mm fine liner, then pulling out my Prismacolor pencils for additional highlights and shading to add light layers of contrast where appropriate. That just about does it for this drawing. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or feedback, or if you just want to let me know that my voice sounds like an adolescent reptile after gargling salty f juices for over an hour. I plan to get back into the swing of things with more content, with ideas of artwork inspired by films, novels, and video games in the future. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the future.